the ICT for Agriculture International Conference and its Paris Hackathon that was organized by the Technical Center of Agriculture and Rural Cooperation, SCPEU, CTA, the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Resources, Minagri, Rwanda, and supported by the Ministry of Youth and ICT, My ICT, Rwanda, took place from 4th to 8th November 2013 in Kigali, Rwanda. The conference examined how ICTs are truly empowering producers and consumers along the entire value chain. In that framework, CTA organized a parallel activity called Hackthon in partnership with ICT hubs from East Africa and with the support of key institutions, including the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA. A Hackthon is an event during which computer programmers and development stockholders, when required, collaborate in a short period of time to develop an ICT application or platform addressing a specific challenge. The aim of the ICT for Agriculture Hackathon, also called AgriHack Championship, was to highlight the potential of ICT applications in agriculture at the conference and to support the development of ICT innovation and entrepreneurship in agriculture, especially by young people. Um, we have organized a regional competition, a regional hackathon, uh, in collaboration with uh, ICT Innovation Center from East Africa from East Africa because it is a pilot experience. So um, we have asked those uh, ICT innovation centers to organize national selection events. And after that, the winners of the hackathon have been now uh, invited to Kigali. And here we are doing the finals. MLab is from Kenya, was the tech-in manager of the hackathon. The winning teams from each hubs were hosted in Kigali by KLab at Telecom House. During the finals of AgriHack Championship in Kigali, all applications were fine-tuned. National teams received advices from mentors, including ICT agribusiness entrepreneurs such as Mark Davis, CEO from Isoko in Ghana. They also received training on business models, how to pinch before an investor. On the last day of the conference, the teams were required to pinch in front of the expert judges and the public. After the presentation and exchange with teams, the jury made to decide on the regional winners who will be announced at the closing ceremony of the conference. The judging was not only based on the presentation made before the public, but also on the previous exchanges the jury held with the teams. The closing ceremony was held at Serena Hotel, where the evening began with the careful entertainment provided by the dance troupe in Ganzungadi. Brief speeches from representatives of two sponsors, Sinfa and Agra, were followed by prize givings. And Sibuko, that was supported by Outbox Hub from Uganda, were declared the winners for designing a web and a mobile application that enables savings and credit cooperative associates of smallholders, rural farmers, to mobilize savings, receive, and disperse loans. Second prize went to Magric of Ethiopia for their product Agrivers, an information resource center for farmers delivering information via radio, SMS, and the internet. The team was supported by the hub ISADIS. Third prize was awarded to the All Women Group Agrinfo from Tanzania that developed the Agrinfo web-based and mobile graphic information system platform for mapping farms and lands. The three winning teams received seed grants of 5,000, 4,000 and 3,000 euros respectively. They also received a smartphone from Microsoft Africa. The hubs which nominated the winning teams also received a 3,000 euro grant to undertake post-competition incubation and business support for the winning teams. All national winners also received some incentives. The conference concluded with a brief contribution from CTA Director Mike Kohailu, the Rwanda's Minister for Youth and ICT and Rwanda's Minister of Agriculture. One thing that CTA prides itself is in bringing together different stakeholders to focus on the issues of agriculture and rural development for smallholder farmers. I think this conference this week 
is a testimony that uh, we are able to attract such a diverse group of people who are really committed to make a difference. And we really appreciate that you gave us the opportunity to do this. Uh, let me say congratulations to the winners of the hackathon tonight. Well done. You've shown us that with hard work, smartness, commitment, determination, perseverance, purpose, you can overcome the biggest challenge. Last year, Rwandan farmers got an award, Green Revolution Award. It was recognition of the fact that we are making steps towards the real Green Revolution in Africa. So we got $30,000 as an award. So I'm going to put up the $30,000 for a competition similar to the one we've seen tonight. So that we can start that sort of competition. I thank CTA for making me realize that actually we don't have to have the money sitting on an account somewhere waiting for some groundbreaking idea. There are already groundbreaking ideas here. Passionate, light-hearted and witty, the speeches captured the mood of engagement and optimism. It was, everybody agreed, a week to remember. <laughs>